Starting off our video today, we are going over two of my favorite weapons in all of Fault 76, the anti-armor faster fire rate light machine gun and the bloodied faster fire rate light machine gun. Both of these weapons are absolutely insane and after the demonstrations, we will be going over my entire build to go along with it. But our first target on the list for the demonstrations, starting off with the anti-armor faster fire rate, we have the level 100 glowing behemoth that goes by the name Bill. There we go, we're just gonna give him a couple love taps to wake him up and we're gonna get a little bit close to him, that way we can blast his face off. Look at that. Look how many 170s straight to Bill's face. Now we've made our way back to good old Billy Bob, and we're going to start again by blasting him and waking him up. There we go. 59, 59. Fantastic. I'm going to get a little bit closer. That way we can get those face shots on him. And hopefully we'll get a little bit higher than the anti-armor. Those are 170, and that is a 194 straight to his face. Ow, you stupid behemoth. And look at that. Billy Bob is no more. Now we've made our way over to the West Tech Research Center. That way all these disgusting super means can feel the wrath of the light machine gun. Starting with this fool. Look at that. And the distance. That's absolutely insane. We're getting a ton of damage. And oh, let me just back up just a little bit more just so I can see. Okay, we're going to get a headshot. Headshot. Oh, oh, 83. Okay, we're missing. 82. There we go. We're still doing a ton of damage at distance. Now, if you were in power armor, I'd recommend you using vats. But since we are in power armor, our vats is kind of terrible. Watch this. Look how fast that AP drained absolutely ridiculous but that's okay this is not meant for vats this build is not meant for vats whatsoever look at that damage goodbye you stupid freak what are you doing sir i'm gonna have to kill you look at that all right you think your laser gun can defeat me bring it on brother 246 straight to his face and that was at least 50 shots straight to his face oh my god look at that not really 50 shots i'm just kidding but man that is destroying them no vats can i not be beaten what about you you little commie robot can you defeat the power of liberty prime <sighs> looks like that's a no-go goodbye you stupid commie robot now we've made our way back to the hopeless super means and we're gonna begin with killing this one goodbye my good sir and now you two we're not keeping back for these fights okay now bring it on you stupid super mutants. is this all you get for your army we all will not withstand the power of the light machine gun and either will you you stupid floater god i love how fast this weapon shoots it's absolutely insane all right i don't know why i'm in vats i don't know why i locked onto him i was trying to lock onto his face but then i forgot i don't have concentrated fire on see look at that that is devastating we're just gonna blow off your face 229 not bad at all get off of me oh, oh oh what do we get an aristocrat's meat hook let me see what the oh my gosh and it's a one star that is gold does anyone want to trade if you want to trade let me know down in the comments i just get the best weapon in all of fall 76 <gasps> you stupid robots the next target on our list helping us out with the demonstrations is a wasteland kingpin that goes by the name jebediah jebediah is the level 75 scorched overseer of vault 51 look at him we're gonna start by blasting him in the chest i don't know why the heck i started in vats but there we go you know i can just stand here and take his shots all day because we have electric absorption which just heals me which is fantastic you want to keep shooting is that all you got buddy okay we're gonna blast your face off now okay please and thank you get out of my way now we've made our way back to the disgusting filth of a man that goes by the name of jebediah and this time we are not going to be starting in vats we're just gonna start blasting this dude away there we go 162 straight to this face okay before he even fired his gun jebediah has died the next wasteland beast on my list for the demonstrations is the level 100 miler queen that goes by the name of mrs krabs let's just start by blasting her feet i don't even think she realizes i'm over here look at that oh poor mrs krabs i think you're crippled now are you oh yeah she's definitely crippled look at her all limping around let's just finish her off with these face shots and just like that this disgusting miler queen is no more now we've made our way back to the miler queen the one they call mrs krabs and she's already spotted me so we're gonna start by blasting her legs there we go maybe she'll be crippled and she's dead already can you believe it this gun is absolutely insane and now let's get into both of these weapons in my entire build over in the weapons these are both of the light machine guns that we use for the demonstrations starting off we have the anti-armor light machine gun which is ignores 50 percent of your target's armor and it has a 25 percent faster fire rate and also both of these guns use the exact same mods which is the prime automatic receiver long barrel forceful stock drum magazine and the muzzle brake next up we have the bloodied faster fire rate light machine gun which is the damage increases as your health decreases and of course has a 25 percent faster fire rate the only difference between both of these guns is the main legendary effect over the normal perk cards these are all the normal perk cards that make up my in-game blood heavy gunner build that we use for the video starting off in strength we have 15 and this so we can have all the heavy gunner cards maxed out to get the max amount of damage out of this build we have locked and loaded maxed out heavy guns reload 30 percent faster we have blocker maxed out take 45 percent of less damage from your opponent's melee attacks over in perception we have two and this so we can have grenade maxed out your explosives detonate with twice the radius over in endurance we have nine and this so we can have kim fiend maxed out any kims you take last 100 percent longer and we're taking overdrive 
Drive, and Psycho Buffs in this video. We have Fireproof maxed out, take 45% to less damage from explosions and flame attacks. We have Radical maxed out, the greater the rads, the greater the strength, a max plus 5 to strength. We have Rejuvenated maxed out, you gain even better benefits from being fully fed and fully hydrated. And of course, I used a perfect bubblegum. Over in Charisma, we have 9 in this so we can have Lone Wonder maxed out, when adventuring alone, take 20% to less damage and gain 30% AP regen. We have Filter Surgeon maxed out, Stimpax and Rataway right will now work much more quickly. We have Tenderizer maxed out, make your target receive 10% more damage for 10 seconds after you attack. Over in Intelligence, we have 6 in this so we can have Nerd Rage maxed out. While below 20% health, gain 40 damage resist, 20% damage, and 15% AP regen. We have Stabilize maxed out. And Power Armor, Heavy Guns gain excellent accuracy and ignore 45% armor. Over in Agility, we have 11 in this so we can have Action Boy maxed out. Action Points regenerate 45% faster. We have Adrenaline maxed out, gaining plus 10% to max 60% of damage for 30 seconds per kill. Duration refreshes with kills. We have Dodgy maxed out. Avoid 30% of incoming damage at the cost of 30 Action Points per hit. Over in Luck, we have 14 in this so we can have Bloody Mess maxed out. 15% of bonus damage means enemies may explode in a glory red pace. We have one gun army maxed out. Heavy guns gain a 12% stagger chance and a 12% chance to cripple them. We have ricochet maxed out. Gain an 18% chance to deflect back some of your enemies range damage. No PvP. We have class freak maxed out. The negative effects of your mutations are reduced by 75%. And we have starch genes maxed out. You'll never mutate from rats and right away will never cure your mutations. These are all the normal perk cards that make up my in-game heavy gunner build. Now let's get into my legendary perk cards. Over in the legendary perk cards, these are all the legendary perk cards that help make up my in-game game heavy gunner build. Starting off in intelligence, we have that at 2 stars. We have endurance maxed out, strength at 1 star, luck at 2 stars, far flung fireworks at 2 stars, and electric absorption at 1 star. These are all the legendary perk cards. Now let's get into my mutations and my armor. Over the mutations, these are all the mutations that we use for the build. We have adrenaline reaction, bird bones, eagle eyes, egghead healing factor, marsupial, skelly skin, and speed to demon. Over the armor, what I used is a full set of T65 overeaters power armor. And the reason being is because overeaters is absolutely insane whether you're a low health or a high health build. All you have to do is eat a perfect bubblegum and your food and thirst meters will be completely filled. But the benefits of this armor is increased damage reduction by 6% as you fill your hunger and thirst meters. So just eat that perfect bubblegum and you'll be good to go. If you enjoy fault content like this and you want to see more, I also made a video over one of the best builds in all of Fault 76, the full health sneak commando build. So if you want to check it out, I'll link it in the screen right now. You see that? That is the full health sneak commando build.